As I've mentioned in previous videos, I tend to record my audio narration separately from my video. As a result, I often find myself wanting to either speed up or slow down the video so that what the viewer sees on the screen corresponds to what I'm saying in the audio. Even if you don't record your narration separately, there may be times when you want to change the playback time of your video. For example, if your video shows you downloading a file and it took 5 minutes to finish the download, do you really want to make your viewer spend 5 minutes watching a download? To change your playback time, go to your timeline and select the video segment of interest. In some cases, you may want to use the split tool, located above the timeline, to separate out a part of the video on which you wish to concentrate. Now, on the left side of the screen, click on Visual Effects. From the Visual Effects menu, click and drag Clip Speed onto the video segment in the timeline. To the right of the canvas, in the Properties area, you will now see a section for Clip Speed. Setting the Speed field to a larger number will speed up the video segment, whereas entering a smaller number will slow it down. For example, if you set speed to equal 2, it will double the speed of the video segment. Setting speed to 0.5 will halve the playback speed. As an alternative, you may specify the desired duration of the video segment in minutes, seconds, and frames. The first two of these may be pretty self-explanatory. The third field, frames, lets you indicate a fraction of a second based upon the number of frames per second in your video. So if you have a 10 in your seconds field, and a 15 in your frames field, and you have 30 frames per second in your video, that comes out to 10.5 seconds. In some cases, you may not immediately know what duration you need. A quick way to find out is to use the green and red markers that straddle your playhead. Move the green and red markers to, respectively, the desired start and end points for your video segment. As you move the markers, the duration of the time span between them will be displayed. When trying to increase the playback time of a video segment, you may sometimes get a warning message that says, We're sorry, an error has occurred. There is not room on the timeline to complete that action. This happens when your requested playback time would overlap with that of another video segment on the same track of the timeline. There are two possible solutions to this situation. The first is to move the other video segment. The second is to change your proposed playback time so that it does not conflict with that of the other video segment. The next video, which I'm calling, Hey, look at this, will show a handful of ways in which you can draw your viewer's attention to a particular part of your canvas, to be followed by videos explaining how to implement the various methods.